everyone looks like they need a little inspiration. Yes, sweet, sweet caffeine. I was talking about me. Oh, I need to focus. Mr. Hollingsworth wants 20 questions for the q and I'm hosting here next week. How about, did you have fun playing video games with me last night? I had a great time. You are surprisingly good. But? But I should focus. If I impress Mr. H, he might give me a job after I graduate. Your smile alone could have been a thousand votes. How about you focus now and we can meet up later? Some of my friends are hanging out. It'd be fun. I can't. Weekly poker game. Still rather play poker? Uh, it's just... Dallas, he's, um... He's a better kisser than me? No. No, actually. Let me check. I'm no good next to Dama. When I'm too close to start to fade, are you angry? This is an office, not a bedroom. So there's no kissing in here? I guess you're a president in the Clinton tradition. Classy. Hillary was never president. Ah, but Bill was. Okay, let's just relax. She wasn't even born when that happened. Shouldn't that tell you something? Okay, um, I will see you in class if you can come up for air long enough to attend. <sighs> so, where were we? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That was the trailer. The feature presentation's tonight. Oh, wait, wait, what do, what do I tell Dallas? Easy. You got an offer you couldn't resist. Oh, Bendari, did you shrink? Maybe I'm not shorter. Maybe you've just gotten freakishly tall. Need some help? Thanks, but I can manage. Were you just flirting with my Dallas? No, I am so over boys. Is that why you're wearing sneakers? <sighs> Doctor's orders. Apparently heels interfere with my physical recovery. Can't believe they let Leo out on bail after he did this to you. Yeah, but you go to court next week, right? And that bastard ex of yours will be under lock and key. And I can finally stop talking to lawyers 24-7. Is there anything we can do? Carry your books? Help you with your makeup? Guys, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just go to class. You sure? Yes, but if anyone asks, I got mugged, okay? Mademoiselle Moreno, you're late. Sorry, I slept through my alarm. Are you ready for your presentation? <laughs> yes, sir, madame. Celine Dion and la francophone. Uh, miss, can we turn the heat up? It's a little, uh, nippy in here. Lou, stop being gross. <laughs> Class, enough. Hey, can you tell me what's so funny? Imagine. I think it might have something to do with your attire. Oh, is my shirt inside out again? No, and you can't see the holes in my socks, so what's the problem? You are not wearing a bra. Oh, ooh, I was rushing. <laughs> I think it would be best if you went home to get one. You're kicking me out of class because I forgot to wear a bra? It's distracting. Please try to understand. This is the guy that's gonna make me rich. I am so pumped for poker. Me too, now hear me out. What if we went to a killer party instead? I'm listening. It's gonna be tons of chicks there. Zoe said there's like a pool. And... There it is. What? Zoe, you spend every waking hour with her. Ah, uh, his little girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. He wants us to skip poker so we can go to some great 10 party with his rebound. And what, play spin the bottle? Drink pop and eat chips? <laughs> What's wrong with chips? <laughs> You probably just have to watch or cater to your every whim. Want another drink, boo? How about a massage? You are my hero. Okay, it's not like that. <laughs> That's exactly what it was like this morning. Guys, it's just a casual thing. Does she know that? Of course. So you've talked about it? Uh, well, no. But Zoe's a cool chick. She gets it, trust me. And she won't mind if you skip the party for poker. Uh, she actually might mind. Only because I already promised her. Mm. Promises, very casual. <laughs> Can we just postpone poker until tomorrow, please? Fine. 
Tell your girlfriend she owes us one. She's not my girlfriend. Thank you, Principal Simpson, for agreeing to meet. But let me get this straight. You're upset because Madame Jeannot asked you to leave class. Because I forgot to wear a bra. It was mortifying. It was distracting. I was doing my presentation. It was the boys who were making all the fuss. We can't have classes interrupted by violations of the dress code. Okay, but where in the dress code does it say I have to wear a bra? There's no such wording. Aha. But there is language about community standards. So since the boys can't control themselves, I get punished. We have to think about the learning environment for everyone. Okay. So if we're so concerned about undergarments, what underwear are you wearing today, Mr. Simpson? Boxers? No, you seem like more of a briefs man. Imogen? Ooh, testy. Are they leopard print? Enough! From now on, I need you to wear the appropriate undergarments to class. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. And don't worry, Mr. Simpson. From now on, no one will ever question if I'm wearing a bra. Can you hear the siren call? So we can't be here. Why don't you tell me this party was at the Hollingsworths? Relax. Miles has people over all the time. His dad is never home. I can't believe you showed up here and brought a narc. I'm, I'm not a narc. <laughs> Dude, you, you're like 30. Why else would you be here? He's my boyfriend. Boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, not this again. You two never have your story straight, do you? Anyway, I, I don't recall sending you an invite. I'm pretty sure I got one. I read I work for your dad. And if you don't let us stay, I'll tell him about all the underage kids you're supplying with free alcohol. All right, Swidoms. You are made for each other. That was amazing. You're my hero. Do you, um, maybe you want to go talk somewhere? Okay. But, um, there's some people I want you to meet first. Frankie, look who I brought. <sighs> Still fits. Feels so good to be back in the lab. Better get to work. Cohen's only picking two projects for regionals. That'll be you and me, Delorier. Not the girl working on the volcano? What is this, kindergarten? So, uh, how's your experiment going? Have you proven organic food reduces cancer risk? Not yet. I still have to document the results of my test group. No. No, 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 no. What, what's wrong? My fruit flies. But they're all dead. Looks like Volcano Girl's chances just improved. I'm still in this. I just need to work twice as hard. You could also ask for extra help. I can do this on my own. I just need more flies. Got to admit, it's pretty fun. Lesson learned. Never doubt Zoe. <laughs> All right. Who's got the next chicken fight against Tristan and me? Think you and your boy toy can take us? I assure you, my boyfriend can beat you at anything, anywhere. Drew? We'll get in the next round. Come with me. Sam, I just can't wait any longer. Look, Zoe, I, I never said I was your boyfriend. Sorry. Just one of those jerks to shut up. You're so mean to me. And you like me, you're great, and I wanted them to see that. It was all for show. I just got out of a long-term relationship. I know that. No, I'm not ready for anything serious. So, you want to stop hanging out? Is that it? Look, we like each other, right? Right. And we have fun together? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Then can we just keep doing what we're doing? No need to label it. Sure, that's okay. You're like the first nice person I've met at Degrassi. You make me excited to come to school every day. Really? 
can't believe any girl was stupid enough to break up with you. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> Oh, someone's in a good mood. Who? Huh. Me? I'm in. I'm in a great mood. Uh, we missed a killer party last night, didn't we? Sure did. You guys got Zoe all wrong. She's totally chill. You buy OT to class today? What? Bring your own table? Oh, uh, no, no. It's for poker night tonight. Sounds fun. Will be. Especially for the guy who empties out Drew's wallet. Cha-ching! <laughs> Wish, buddy. <laughs> so, what time should I show up? Where? Poker night. Don't worry. I used to play with the crew on set between scenes. I'm good. Uh, it's not... It's just, it's just, uh... It's a guy's thing. Doesn't Claire play? She's practically a dude. After last night, I thought you'd want me there. Your friends don't like me. Bingo. Sorry. Don't be. Poker is the perfect way to get acquainted. I'll make them laugh. I'll let them win. I'll fall in love with me. Come on, little fruit flies. Let's get you some healthy, organic food. Need an extra hand? I'm fine, Connor. Uh, no, you're not. You're bleeding all over the place. <sighs> what happened? Oh, what happened is I had a bad boyfriend that broke my heart and my arm, and I was trying to get over him by focusing on the one thing that I love, but apparently you can't do science with one hand. School is a fun for disabled students. I don't need a ramp. I need another hand. And if you don't get some help in here, you might need to. country people, lend me your ears. Remember when Degrassi abolished the uniform? Well, there's still a dress code and it's sexist. I was kicked out of class for forgetting to wear a bra, so I thought I'd make it easier for the administration. See Degrassi up and ups? I'm wearing a bra. Wouldn't want our medieval and repressive dress code to make me miss class again. So girls, remember, wear a brassiere or you're out of here because we don't want to distract the boys. For Degrassi TV, I'm Imogen Marina. Feminism, what's up? Are you sure about this? Using Degrassi TV to air your personal beef with the administration? Well, it should be everyone's beef. Yeah, but I'm sure there's another way you can change their mind. Like, collect signatures and send them off to the board. Yes. But that would take such a long time. Once we broadcast the segment, everyone will know how I feel. Yeah, including Mr. Simpson, who's gonna be really, really mad. Do you think Gandhi worried about ruffling a few feathers? <laughs> no, but he also spent 10 years in prison. Simpson can't arrest me. Yeah, but he can suspend you. No. We're airing it. That's what Gandhi would do. Maybe, though, in a slightly different outfit. <laughs> the beakers and test tubes in the science lab are used for dangerous chemicals. They are not used for beverages for consumption. Hey, have you seen Jenna? Blonde, about gay tall, never met a curling iron she didn't like. Uh, you're incorrigible. Also available, maybe I can help. If it's girl talk, you know I can uh, totally do that. Tempting, but I don't need a gossip sash. I need a lab assistant. Perfect. I love science. Oh, yeah? Since when? About, uh, 10 seconds ago. Hey, uh, I got your 911 text. Did you get any news? About my mugger? Uh, no. It's about something else. Adios, ladies. Okay, so apparently it's, like, impossible to do a science experiment with one hand, and oh, I know you... Of course, I'll help. How do we start? Now would be good. Look, those girls got my message. I don't think she quite got your message. I can live with that. It's just one girl. One girl and only her bra is one girl too many. This is amazing. The revolution has begun. Simpson has to see my point. At least you're something. You must be pleased with yourself. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, sir. Uh-huh. You think this is a victory, but it's not. It's over, Imogen. Don't you want to bargain? I thought you came to talk. No, I came to take. Take what? Your broadcast privileges. You are off the airwaves. <laughs> you must be joking. Um, I think he's pretty serious. No, I know when he's serious because he puts that serious face on. Yeah, that one. As if this very second Degrassi TV is off the airwaves. You can't do that. I can and I am. What about freedom of the press? Somehow I don't think this is what the Fanning Fathers had in mind. Guys, um, I'm really sorry. What now? Are you ditching us for a grade nine party? No, no, of course not. What dumb thing is Zoe got you roped into now? Inviting her to this poker game? No. Drew. We don't have enough visors. Well, I couldn't say no. Why? What magic spell does this girl have over you? <sighs> they had sex. You had sex with... Shh. Okay, she's gonna be here any second. But you said you were casual. That doesn't sound very casual. Guys, okay, it's just sex, okay? Drew, this girl is in love with you. So is she coming to prom with us as well, or...? It's not like that. She changed her face for any relationship status? No, because it's just casual. And if we asked her, she'd say that? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Whoa. This game is serious. So please don't be mad at me for ruining poker night. Don't worry about it. I think this game just got a lot more interesting. Then Mr. Hollingsworth said, of course it would be nice if taxes were as low as the 1920s, but how do you like running water? <laughs> This guy sounds impressive. He is, very. Ah, uh, Clarence, to you. Raise two dollars. Zoe, didn't you help Drew get that job? What? Oh, yeah, but he's Drew, right? So he didn't need much help. Yeah, you two crazy kids spend a lot of time together. The job keeps Drew pretty busy, but hopefully we'll be able to spend more time together after the election. Hmm. In six weeks. Huh. That's great. And then prom's right around the corner. You two planning and riding in the same limo? We haven't talked about it yet, but I assume so. Right, Boo? Boo, you two really are getting close. Zoe, it's your bet. Oh. I'm all in. Somehow I figured. Drew? <sighs> I think I'm out. Lamborghini got two girls in the front with me. That big dream when it all... Thanks. I still can't believe Simpson took me off the air. I know it's unchristian to say I told you so, but I'm glad this is over. It's not over. Look at this. This cool dress code? There's not a single thing in here about boys' attire. It doesn't specifically say girls either. It doesn't have to. No spaghetti straps, girls. No exposed midriffs, girls. No yoga pants. Girls. I still don't understand why girls wear those to school. I mean, they're for yoga ladies. <laughs> the dress code is sexist, plain and simple. Girls have all these restrictions. Boys have none. Which is why... You made a face range page? This isn't fair. And I want to do something about it. Viva la revolution! <laughs> right, but it, it's totally 100% me. Drew, breathe. Just be firm and straightforward. You can do this. You wanted to see me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um... Look, we, um... We, we, need, to, we need to talk. No, you can't. I, I haven't even said anything yet. Do you know how many times my character got broken up with on West Drive? I've heard those words enough to know what they mean. So were you, you, you're a great girl. We had sex. I know. I thought you liked me. I thought you were a nice guy, but you used but me. I, I would never do that to you. We had sex and now you're breaking up with me. What else would you call that? I can't believe I shared my first time with you. Your, your first time? Like in a pool house? Jeez. Why wouldn't you tell me? I didn't want to ruin the moment. 
I thought it was special. It, it, it was special. But you want to throw it all away. That is not what I meant. Then what do you want to talk about? I think we should... We should change our face range status to uh, in a relationship. Really? Really. I feel so silly. <laughs> uh, me too. Uh. Whatever it takes I know I can make it through And if I hold out I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through